Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the July Freight Crate, as you can see right here. And the U.S. Postal Service did a good job on that. Yeah, it's mainly just this one side here. But um, doing something different with the lighting, because the way I've been doing the lighting before, I'm using like a ring light, so it's kind of like right in my face. And I don't feel like blinding myself every time. So I'm kind of pointing it up to see if I end up getting enough. So put a comment there. Let down there let me know if the lighting is good enough for this video uh otherwise i can figure something out but anyway uh on to this oh another quick note if people uh usually check out my bam box horror unboxings the july box for bam box is severely delayed because apparently the person who was supposed to be signing the autograph for that box uh last minute said they wanted more money and apparently that's not in the budget for Bambox, so they're kind of they're looking for other people. So I don't know how long, late that's going to end up being. But that's not Fright Crate. Let's get to the Fright Crate. Oh, I always read the uh, quote. All of us have our individual curses, something that we are comfortable with and something that we have to deal with. Wes Craven, unfortunately, not with us anymore, which really sucks. Let me get, get my lighting back. There we go. Better. Okay, uh, this is only my third Fright Crate. Uh, very excited about this because the first two I thought were really cool. Um, this one I'm particularly excited about, though, because of the theme is 70s horror. And I remember when I saw the franchises, it looked like there were some really cool franchises in there. I don't think there were any franchises I saw listed that I was like, meh. But, all right, let's do the t-shirt first because it's on top. I like their last two t-shirts I got, so what is it? Oh, this is hot. Ooh, that's hot. That looks so good. Look at this. Alien. Oh, man. I don't have anything alien, really. I mean, I have, like, some artwork and stuff, but I don't have any, like, t-shirts that are alien. Look at how good this is. Ooh, that is. And the green, the greens on that pop so much. Those greens look awesome. The xenomorph looks great. Ripley up there. The face hugger coming out of the egg. Ooh, this is... This is better than the last two. That is a... Hmm, I like that. All right. Look, strong start. All right, here's something. I assume this is from Serial Resin Co., uh, which is a partner, which is Darren Mitchell, who has his own unboxing and other horror-related stuff. Uh, YouTube channel called Horror in Me. Check that out. Oh, the cat's poking around, so she might show up. Looks like... Oh, cool. Okay, I get it. At first, I was like, who is this? Who is this? So it looks like it's Carrie. Look at that. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, since I did what I did with the uh, with the lighting, you can't see detail as well. Well, there you go. If I get it close enough, there you go. Oh no, you can't get in the box, Chloe. I'm I'm sorry, but <laughs> she's trying to get in the box. I still have items in. You can have the box later, buddy. Yeah. So that looks good. Obviously, it's Carrie covered in blood. Very cool. About to admit it right now. I haven't seen Carrie yet. Well, I certainly haven't seen the remake, but I haven't seen the original. This is really good. Uh, super quality, like always with the Serial Resin Co. stuff. So I dig it. I like it. Very cool. Maybe I'll like it even more after I actually see Carrie, which is on my list and has been on my list. Is this like a bag or is this another t shirt? I don't think it's a t shirt. It's just like some sort of like bag or something. Is it a flag? Which would be interesting. Oh, it's a... Okay, I get it. It's an apron. <laughs> Texas... Leatherface's Texas Barbecue. Established in 1974. And there's my cat. She's never seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I have quite a few times. Wonderful movie. Um, honestly, I haven't gone past the original. So... I still kind of feel bad because I'm sure there are people like, oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 was good, the remake was good, whatever. Uh, what matters the most is the original. We can all agree on that, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. It's a cool apron. I can wear that. I do cook quite a bit. Um, although I do like minimalist cooking where I want it to be an easy recipe. That's just how I roll. Okay, and then it looks like we got a print from Max Cave. Ooh, this looks good. Warning, keep this bag away from babies and children. Okay. <laughs> I guess they had to do this because someone complained or something. Sorry, that's all the writing down here. I'm not going to take it out of the bag for now, but look at this. 
that looks really good. Once again, like just like with the shirt, there's some colors that really pop on there. The purples and the pinks are really nice. Look at this. That is, man, Max Cave, dude. Woo. That is killer. Yeah, that's really good. I like that a lot. It's a good box, man. And then the last thing is a pin. Oh, sweet. Right. Yeah. I knew this was in here. This property. Uh, Hills Have Eyes. So it's Michael Berryman's character from The Hills Have Eyes. Looking very menacing as he was in the film. This is, uh, oh, actually, I was going to say, this is another one. I've only seen the original. Not true. I saw the original, and then I saw Alexander Aja's uh, remake of The Hills Have Eyes, which I think was a good remake, but I think I do prefer the original, which, you know, not a big surprise, which Wes Craven did, so appropriate that his quote is on the outside of the box. Okay, so, yeah. Mm, this is nice. Once again. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's go through their little card. I'll show you it first if you want to, sorry, grab it down here if you want to pause and read down that. Okay. Exclusive Ripley's Nightmare shirt. Amazing work of art by frequent Fright Crate collaborator Chris, Chris Larens. Please check out his groundbreaking art at facebook.com slash chris.labrens. Okay. So it says chris.labrens, but Chris Larens there. So I don't know which one it is. Uh, exclusive Bloody Carry Bust brought to us by Serial Resin Co. An homage to everyone's favorite telepathic prom queen based on Stephen King's magnum opus, Carrie. Yes, and Serial Resin Co. is SerialResinCo.com. You can check out. Exclusive Texas Barbecue Apron. Get grown with leather face. He knows his meats. <laughs> sure does. This item is a high-quality polyester and cotton blend, perfect for cooking indoors or grilling outdoors. Or I'd say grilling mystery meats <laughs> um exclusive exorcism of regan print another amazing piece by max cave max is a master of digital painting check him out on facebook doesn't say what his facebook is but max cave i assume you can just search and then the exclusive the hills have eyes enamel pin 1.5 soft enamel pin inspired from the movie yeah pretty easy all right if you don't want to know what the properties are for the next one turn this video off after i say one thing hit the subscribe for me please it can mean a lot for my channel i want to keep doing stuff like this i want to keep doing movie reviews which by the way if you didn't know i'm doing really cool uh movie reviews i'm doing them in a way that there are no spoilers so if you haven't seen the movie you can still watch it but i still go in depth on things like themes and um it's just more analytic it's more analytical than a lot of movie reviews, but I keep the spoilers out. So it's not easy to do, but I walk that line. Uh, check it out. So um, comments down there if you want to talk about this Fright Crate or any of these um, movies that these items are based on. Uh, and then, yeah, sign off now unless if you, if you don't want to know what the ones are for next month. So for next month, it's going to be The Shining, Return of the Living Dead, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and Children of the Corn. Another one I'm excited for. I don't have anything Killer Clowns from Outer Space, so that excites me a lot. Actually, strike that. I have a pin, an enamel pin from Killer Clowns that came from Bambox, and it is a really cool pin, so I'm just excited to get another thing. I, don't, uh, I have a art print from Return of the Living Dead, also from Bambox, which looks cool, and I have a few Shining things, actually. So, yeah, but I love The Shining. Shining is one of my favorite all-time movies, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Children of the Corn, it's been a long time since I've seen the original, so, and I've only seen the original, I didn't see past that. You see a theme here? It's kind of sad, but I'm getting there, people. I'm getting there. I'm working on it. So anyway, cool. Uh, thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Thank you, Fright Crate, Jay Stevens. Um, I've had three boxes now, dude, and I like them all quite a bit, so keep up what you're doing, man. Very quality stuff. Super awesome. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this video out. Until next time, keep it brutal.